Hi everyone, Ben and Matt here from Model Flight. Today we're looking at the Blade 350QX AP Combo. So Matt, what's included with this new AP Combo? Okay Ben, so what we're looking at is a ready to fly. So this is everything that you need to go flying or do aerial photography. So we've got a DX4 transmitter, charger, the 350QX with gimbal and Seago camera, and a high capacity 3000 milliamp LiPo battery. So in terms of technology, how does this differ from the original 350, for example the new motherboard and antenna? Some of the benefits that this particular combo will offer over the original 350 is the motherboard has changed a little bit in the way that it utilises a Spectrum remote receiver with long antennas. So that's getting your interference out of the way of GoPro cameras and things like that. And it also offers a port that will allow you to plug in this gimbal and use that uh, from a transmitter to have remote tilt and stuff like that. And what about the firmware? The firmware on this one here is again the 2.0, same as the original Blade. Um, it'll offer the three flight modes that we've seen before. So it'll have your stability mode, uh, safe mode, agility mode, and AP mode. With the DX4 that's included, you'll only get the three. So this one here will be set up for safe mode, AP mode, and agility mode. Um, but if you were to go to a bigger transmitter, so anything six channel and up, you can get all four modes uh, by changing travel adjusts. And what about the gimbal? So the camera gimbal is what makes this aircraft an AP, aerial photography. So as you can see, the gimbal is really, really well presented. It's neat, it's tidy, there's no wires hanging around anywhere. And from what we've seen, the two brushless motors that run this make it really smooth and it's, it's quite responsive. So it, it gives a really, really, really good video, a really good product. Um, the gyros are built into the actual unit at the bottom here and they're isolated um, by a vibration dampener to the actual quadcopter. So that again makes it really, really smooth to get the result you're looking for. Another great thing about the gimbal, if you're using a transmitter greater than six channels, you also get a tilt control. So you can adjust the camera all the way down and all the way up, and that's infinitely adjustable. And so what about the GPS? The GPS on the 350AP, um, getting back to the 2.0 firmware, running the AP mode, which is the purple mode, um, we find this to be really good. So once you flick it into AP mode, you can position the, the aircraft anywhere in the sky and you can leave it there. It'll, it'll stay there all by itself. And another benefit of this particular version that wasn't seen in the earlier was the GPS has been moved from here into this arm here. And that's again to get away from RF issues and to make it more reliable. But overall, it's a really good system. It works really well. Can you talk to us about the visual compass? Yep. So with this one here, again, a part of the 2.0 firmware, uh, if there's an error, if it finds an error, it'll give you an orange flashing light. So that's displayed up on the status light at the back of the quadcopter. Um, and it also has uh, like a quick connect, so it'll allow the GPS to not cause any flyaways or minimize that sort of risk um, of anything like that happening. And what's the camera like to use? So here is the Seago One. Again, this is included. Um, it's a 1080 HD camera, 30 frames a second. Uh, it also has a photo mode at two megapixels per photo, so it's not too bad. Um, one of the great benefits with this particular camera is it comes with a cool little antenna and it allows you to run, let's say, the Apple iPhone or Android app on your phone to do FPV and get live streaming from the 350 when you're flying it. So here we go with the camera and the application on the phone. You can see how quickly it works. So what kind of pilot with this AP Combo Blade 350 suit? We hope that the people that this will be interesting to will be people that are looking at getting into aerial photography for the first time as it's all inclusive. You don't need to get anything else. Um, but people that may already have some aerial photography equipment can utilize, say, even GoPro cameras with this particular gimbal. There'll be an optional mount available very soon. Um, but yeah, really good package. Thanks for watching this review video on the AP Combo 350QX. If you'd like to see a teaser video of our upcoming action video, click on the link up here. We also have the original 350QX review video on this link right here. And if you guys would like more information on the 350AP, please click on the link just below here. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel down here and like us on Facebook. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again next time.